channel and welcome back to a brand new video in today's video as promised we are going to do our golf summer drop two pickups if you guys watched yesterday's video the vlog thank you guys very much anybody who left a comment anybody who dropped a like anybody who even watched the video thank you guys very much i love going to golf i love camping and i love making videos out of it so shout out to everybody who watched and supported that video today's video is going to be the pickups from that drop i'm going to show you guys everything that we bought in store i'm going to show you guys the product what they look like up close and personal what I kept for myself what I bought to sell and all of that good stuff so just a couple things before we get into the video we will start with my camera situation usually I'm recording these pickup videos and most videos on my Canon 80d I have recently sold that camera because I'm saving up to buy a new setup now right now I'm using my g7x it's a little point and shoot the autofocus is not as good as my DSLR so over the next week or two weeks while I save my money to buy my new setup I'm gonna be using this little point and shoot so I'm gonna do my best to get some good shots and make it decent video quality uh, but if the autofocus is off or something doesn't look like it normally does it's because I'm using a point and shoot for this but no worries very soon I'm gonna have my setup I've already sold a couple things out of my collection and a couple more things will be sold so I can buy a new Sony setup I'm excited to get it I will keep you guys updated on the camera situation next is the giveaway that I had announced a couple videos ago for the red shoulder bag I have had a couple people hit me up about that giveaway. I'm not going to announce the winner in this video because this is more golf style stuff and that was like in more of a supreme video. So I will probably announce it sometime this week when I drop a video that's not golf or not FTP. But I did not forget about you guys with the giveaway. I have the winner chosen. I have the video of me randomly picking the winner. So on the next supreme video, I will drop the winner for that giveaway and somebody will take home a shoulder bag for free. So other than those two things, I don't really have much to say let's get into the video man I bought this stuff on Saturday today's Monday I really have not looked at any of this stuff since I bought it it's all been sitting in a bag waiting for the pickup video so I'm just excited as you guys are to get this stuff out see what it looks like if you guys are here on the channel for supreme content or other content you guys aren't really familiar with golf don't buy golf a lot make sure you guys stay tuned for the video these products are awesome I always encourage the homies to go check out golf Tyler makes quality he makes nice I love shopping at golf. The employees are sick. The store's sick. Let's get into these items and see what they're all about. So before we get into this giant bag, I encourage the homies to go check me out on Instagram at Destroy. Had a couple golf fits on there a couple weeks ago. And with some of these items in these bags, I do have some ideas for some pictures. If you guys are on the gram chilling, go check me out, Leroy Destroy. You guys know what it is. So I had two bags when I went to golf. I did condense them into one bag, but this is a huge bag fat girthy bad boy right here that we are going to break into there is a bunch of good stuff so the first thing that we are going to go over is not something that dropped this past drop but a couple drops ago and it is a pair of unos so here's the dust bag that the actual shoes come in it says golf the floor and says converse this is like some kind of burlap case or bag for the shoes and here is the shoe box so you guys know that tyler just dropped the red and the green bottom unos and he was saying something about them being his last uno i have never purchased an Uno before. I'm not a huge Converse fan. I do like Chuck Taylors, but I have never purchased an Uno. So before he stopped making them, I did want to grab a pair. And luckily for me in store, they still had these beauties right here. So I know this is kind of like a hit or miss shoe with a lot of people. These were released in June a couple months ago for the Gay Pride Month or something to do with Gay Pride, I believe. Shout out to all my gays out there. This has a full rainbow bottom and an all white leather upper. This shoe is so sick. So Duva is not the biggest fan of this shoe and she was low-key heated when I bought these things But I do have a couple outfits that I want to wear with these shoes These will definitely not be my everyday shoes uh, But I did want to get a pair before he stopped making unos and like I said I have a couple pieces that I think will go well with these shoes I like the colored bottom you guys know I like all over prints. I like crazy colors I like a lot of colors and I had my eye on these for some weeks I decided to go in and grab them on Friday when I got to golf Look at the bottom. They have the LaFleur 
flowers. These things are so sick. All right, guys, first we're gonna get into a couple accessories. First is the dog collar. Now, they did drop a full-size dog collar for normal or regular size dog. This is still labeled a dog collar, but I believe this is more for cat. When we went in the store and saw these little collars, me and Duva were tripping. You guys know or don't know, we have four cats at home. We are crazy cat people. Look at this little collar that Golf did for these cats. This is why I was apologizing about the camera earlier. I'm not gonna be able to get those nice, crispy, up-close shots, but you guys can see it says repeated Golf on this collar. This is a 3M print, so when you're walking your cat or dog and a light hits it, it's gonna shine up. This thing is tiny and fits perfectly around my cat's neck. There's one little shot of the blue collar right there, and then we have a yellow one that is still in the plastic right here. They had yellow and blue leashes and collars. These things were so fire. Continuing with the accessories, we have a little unseen accessory right here or something that dropped last minute, and this is this little Golf Flames tumbler or this little coffee mug or whatever you want to call it. Comes in some bubble wrap and some plastic, and here it is right here. So this was not in the original lookbook. This was not on any drop list until Friday night when they emailed the drop list out, and here is this little tumbler. So this is like a little 10 ounce maybe or 12 ounce little coffee mug. This thing is very well insulated inside. Whatever you put in here will for sure stay warm or cold. This thing is super cool. I bought two of them right here. I'm probably going to keep one and sell one. Or if you guys want me to give one away, make sure you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I can give one away to one of you guys. But it does have the blue flames all over it. And it is from the brand Mirror, which I'm not sure. This thing was $30 retail, which I feel like is not bad. You get a way less quality water bottle from Supreme for $38. Bucks, uh, so I am not complaining. It does have flames repeated all over it. Got a tag on it. Uh, I'm not complaining. This is a sick little accessory. All right, guys, moving on with the accessories. The next one we grabbed was the Jumbo Leopard Tote Bag. Dude, this thing is so fire. The day before the drop, I saw one of the employees dip out with this thing on his shoulder, and this thing is huge and fits a bunch of stuff. If you guys watch the channel, I'm always buying tote bags, pool bags, and stuff like that. Carson goes overnight to his grandma's house, his aunt's house. We go to the pool, a one-night vacation. This is perfect for all of those occasions, dude. You have a golf tag right here, a little box logo, and then we have this leopard print all over this. So I'm gonna open this up. Man, this thing is so fire. So you got like this green and blue leopard, which is not my favorite. I do love leopard, but I like original leopard colors, like brown and black leopard. So the green is not my favorite, but it is sick. And this was the only color that the tote bag was in. So you got two straps at the top, and then look at inside. It is all lined with this orange material and then you got a leopard pocket inside this thing is deep dude you could easily use this as an overnight bag a pool bag whatever it will fit anything that you need puff this thing open and you could fit a lot of stuff in here i'm not sure the price on this bag i think it was around 30 dollars retail uh this was something me and duva grabbed for our personal collection keeping on with the keep on here is some boxers these are not for me because i do not like to wear these kind of boxers i like to wear briefs that are tight on my leg when I wear these open boxers my nuts swing around and it's just like not very comfortable so these ones are for Duva she bought these for herself she's just gonna rock them as night shorts or sleep shorts or whatever so here again is that green and blue leopard print somewhere throughout this print it spells golf I'm not exactly sure where but somewhere it does say golf inside the print so you got like a stretchy band at the top and then they are open at the bottom uh, but it does not say golf around the band and then for the next pair we have like like this pixely floral print right here. There was a puffy jacket that Tyler did a season or two seasons ago with this same exact print and I believe there's a couple other things with this print as well. This pair right here is my favorite out of the two. Uh, nice little sleep shorts, little lounge shorts for Duva. These were the boxers. Uh, I want to say that they were 30 bucks or 20 bucks, somewhere around there. I'm sorry, I don't know the prices. It's not that I'm trying to be an asshole. They just don't give me a receipt. When you pay there, they send you a receipt on your email and then the receipt on your email just says the total. It doesn't break down the items. Uh, so my apologies for not knowing the exact retail prices. Now we're getting into some of my personal items or items that I bought for myself. First thing we're gonna go over is the sushi tea right here. So this was another item that was late announced or there was a picture posted on Golf Wing of somebody wearing this tea and then the tea was in the preview of the email that they sent out the night before. So here is the graphic up close. It's got some raw fish and then a rice cluster and then it says golf in the little Chinese or Japanese uh, style.
style writing and that is on a dark green t-shirt so they had this in white and dark green I don't have many dark green or army green shirts that's why I decided to go with the green one uh, but me and Duva always hit sushi at least once a week I don't eat raw fish but I do eat California rolls crunchy rolls and stuff like that so I cop this t-shirt maybe next time I go eat sushi I'll throw it on and uh, take a picture for the gram I liked it nice and subtle simple not too crazy uh, you know I didn't buy the Furby tee or anything like that I really think that t-shirt was trash let me know your opinions of the Furby tee in the comments down below would much rather have something subtle and more simple like this this was the sushi tea Japanese Chinese no disrespect I know those aren't the same things but of Asian descent tea right here in this forest green colorway in size large this is for my personal collection all right guys the remaining three items are my favorite items of the drop and all items that are staying with me in my personal collection one of them being a tomato button-up in yellow dude so I know a lot of people like this button-up this thing is folded extremely nice it's about to fall apart but here it is dude so Tyler has worn this a couple times on his story he was wearing the blue one and it looked extremely good with his bleached hair and his brown hat but I recently bought the sweater vest in blue so I didn't want to have two blue items so that's why I decided to go with yellow and look at this thing man so this resembles the cherry rayon that Supreme just dropped last season except these are not cherries these are tomatoes but they're cherry tomatoes and they are still on the vine so it has some greenery in it and what I did not know was that it says golf wang all over this shirt in the preview if you just look at the item online through the email you cannot tell that it says golf wang I thought it just had the tomatoes all over it but repeated many many times on this shirt you guys can see it says golf wang golf wang golf wang a bunch of times so this is not a rayon shirt but it is a silk shirt so it feels a little finer and a little nicer I know this was a hundred and ten retail uh, the silk kind of put it up I thought it was gonna be around 80 but I had no problem paying the 110 supreme rayons are 138 148 uh, this is silk a little bit better material but holy hell dude look at this silk shirt in size large it looks like it fits true to size it has white buttons a nice collar this is a proper shirt that I'm so excited to wear I'm gonna rock this with some brown pants or some white pants or something like that sheesh one of my favorite items when the preview was announced a couple weeks ago month ago somewhere around there and uh, damn dude such a slapper one of my favorite items from the whole summer season and one I am gonna rock for sure all right guys next item we're gonna get into is a pair of denim pants right here these are LaFleur denim jeans size 30 so if you guys watch the channel maybe you know or don't I love denim I love supreme denim I love golf denim I love FTP denim I love denim pants I love denim jacket denim is a great material dude look at these pants these are a light wash denim which I only have one pair of supreme denim and I never want to wear them because it's my only pair and I don't want to mess them up so as soon as I saw he was dropping these ooh wee I jumped right on it dude so here is the back pocket there is some golf embroidery right there but that is not the best part of these jeans flip and dip to the front and you have a little LaFleur flower that has been embroidered on your front right pocket dude these things fit glorious the best thing about golf is they don't mind if you try it on so you can go in the store if you don't know how stuff fits you can go in the dressing room and try it on these things are 30s they fit snug and nice the cut is amazing it's a little bit of a wider cut at the bottom but they sit nice on the hips nice on the ankles these pants are so sick so there's really no other accents besides the LaFleur flower and the golf embroidery on the back he dropped these in black which have sold out online but when I go to Supreme next week if they still have the black ones in store I am going to cough. These things fit well. I have never worn golf denim before, so I'm excited to rock these, pull them off with some kind of sick little white tee or something like that. These were golf denim. I believe that these were $80, somewhere between $80 and $100. All right, guys, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, flame shorts. We got an array of colors right here. There was only two colors, but we have both, and we got multiple pairs of each, dude. I got one pair of blue ones, two pairs of blue ones, three pairs of blue ones, and then I got two brown ones right here so let me
let me show you guys the brown one. Obviously, people like the blue ones more than the brown. The blue is way more hype, but the pictures of the brown ones online do not do it justice, and I hope this camera does do it justice. These things are pretty gas. Low-key, if I was in a pinch and couldn't afford the blue ones, I would have definitely caught the brown. These are just inverted colors, so you have a nice chocolate brown as the base color, and then you have some pink and blue flames going all the way throughout these. So many people have hit me up and asked me, how do these shorts fit? Do these fit small? And I would say that they fit like regular shorts. So these are nylon shorts, which is what Supreme's trunks and a lot of swim trunks are made out of, but there is no net inside. So you could wear these in the pool. I don't think they would mess them up. They're the same material as a lot of other swim trunks. They just do not have the net inside, and I don't think they're made for the pool, but you definitely could. So there is pockets on the front, and there is double pockets on the back with buttons. These things are so fire, dude. I normally wear a small or medium in Supreme shorts. I'm six foot tall. I weigh 125 pounds and I kept medium shorts. So these were the brown ones. Definitely some sick shorts, uh, but I cannot argue that they are not as sick as these blue ones right here, dude. If you guys have ever seen my ceiling in my studio, it is full of golf flames. That is exactly where I got the idea to do those flames. It's from this original pattern, dude. This blue is so vibrant in person. You're like, it like stuns your mind. These things are so vibrant, dude. You have these yellow flames with red outline and black outline. These are a size medium and these are my personals right here. So they fit like regular shorts. I wouldn't say they fit too small, too big. I would say that they are true to size. A little bit smaller than Supreme mediums, uh, but all around, I think they would fit true to size, dude. On the back, you have two butt pockets and then you have an all over print. So this is is the item right here. This is for sure the hottest item of the drop and what the most people care about. I got three pairs total. I sold two pairs and I kept one for my personal. I will never sell these. I made the huge mistake of selling my flame print pants probably two years back and that is one of my biggest selling regrets. Uh, so no matter the price, I will never sell these things. A lot of people are asking about drawstrings. There is drawstrings on them that go through the waistband so you can tighten them up or loosen them up. You guys have a tag inside and a tag on the back and this is them right here dude most hyped item of the entire season golf flame shorts these things are so gas all right guys so that's it for the items make sure you guys stick around for the next couple seconds i'm trying to put some b-roll of the items up close don't think i'm going to be able to fit it in while i'm reviewing the item so when the video's over in like literally 30 seconds i'm going to put some b-roll at the end maybe like a minute with some music just some up close shots and some slow-mo of these items so you guys can see them more crispy up close i'm going to make sure the lighting's right you guys can get a good look at these things before the video is over you guys made it to the end thank you guys very much much love to all my golf goers out there anybody who supports and loves the golf videos shout out to you guys if you've never purchased anything from golf make sure you do your research next drop buy something i promise you that's quality garments it's good sh and tyler is awesome love supporting him and golf as a whole much love to all you guys out there make sure you guys go check out my instagram at leroy destroy i'm definitely gonna be posting something in the flame shorts and the silk shirt coming up asap so make sure you guys go follow check me out there i will see you guys there you guys can keep up with whatever i'm doing youtube aside much love to all the homies make sure you guys drop a like and a comment on this video let me know what your favorite item from this drop was if you caught the flame shorts didn't some kind of comment pertaining to the golf second drop would be much appreciated and we will see you guys on the flip side anybody that cares about ftp i will have an ftp pickup video up on the channel tomorrow so i'll see you guys there much love catch you on the flip side sleepy i'm out of here peace later skater